Hi, this is Mark here from Native EMF, and today we're going to do uh, a review on a very popular electric car, the BMW i3. There are many websites and videos about the dangers of electric cars and their high, low frequency, direct current magnetic fields. Not many sources have compared the low frequency, direct current magnetic fields with a similar fuel car. This is a BMW i3 pure electric car. No hybrid, so all of its power comes from the electric motor. Whereas the X1 here has a 2 litre diesel engine. This is a low frequency direct current magnetic field meter designed for the types of fields that motor and direct current circuits create. We will now do readings of both cars with the engine on and compare the results. As you can see, we're now in the X1. First of all, I'm going to turn on the engine. And now we're going to take our three measurements, starting in the footwell. Well. So in the footwell we have a measurement of up to 24 milligal. And then if we take one at steering wheel height, it's dropped down to around 5.5. And then if we take one at head height too, that's dropped down to 3.8 to 4.6. We're now in the I3. First thing to do is to turn the engine on. Now we're just going to repeat the same three tests we did in the X1. First of all in the footwell, where we have a reading of 0.52. Then it's steering wheel height, where we have a reading of 0.01. And lastly a head height where we have a reading of 0.01 also. So now we've done a stationary test, we're going to do a road test to compare if the fields change as the motor speeds up, which we expect them to do so. So at 20 miles an hour, it's a reading of 0.06. At 40 mile an hour, a reading of 1.26. And at 60 mile an hour, a reading of 1.7 to 2.7. So we did also measure the low frequency, direct current, electric fields on the BMW i3, and there was no detectable reading. Both of our tests showed the magnetic fields in the i3 were actually significantly lower than the equivalent X1. This has been a nice BMF review on a BMW i3. Please like, comment and subscribe for more tips on how to create a native EMF environment in a technological world.